by getting some of the sweet merch. This video is provided by the quartering store at Crypto Fashion. We now have four different t-shirt designs, including an official quartering t-shirt. All are available in multiple colors. And we now also add a Get Woke, Go Broke large poster for you to hang on your wall with a very delicious design. I hope you'll consider supporting the channel a lot of this goes directly to support us and i'm really thankful for those of you that choose to let's get into the video um yeah you've had people like the quartering who uh <laughs> it must be remembered got kicked out of the magic the gathering community for being a creepy uh pervy fucking creepy creep creep who likes to harass the fuck out of people wow so much to unpack here first of all i know what you're asking yourself why is a potato shooting an infrared? I have no idea. Maybe he's shooting from the inside of a microwave. I know you're also asking, what's that high pitch whine? I don't know what it is either. Probably some sort of oven he has in his basement or the sound of some electrical fence unit. He has possibly keeping people against their will. But I thought it's interesting. Like, look, Kevin's been at this a long time, Kevin Logan. He knows how this works. He expects a response video and he will get one in kind. Uh, I don't think it's fair. Uh, I respect Kevin for sticking to, to his principles, but what I don't respect is just lying. Um, I don't think anyone's ever accused me other than Mr. Logan of being creepy and <coughs> cough, cough, uh, 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 pot calling the kettle black. But um that's just not a fair representation. That's called poisoning the well, Mr. Logan. Uh, I'm curious what you have to say about my positions uh, after we get the personal attacks out of the way. You look like a potato. Yeah, people. He's a truly monumentally unsettling and frankly a little bit evil character who um, makes YouTube videos, of course, and uh, went mad about this. Okay, so I'm almost halfway through your video and all you've done is lodge personal attacks at me, um, none of which are founded. Um, I'm not sure you're quite the titan of intellect I had given you credit for. Now, this is a common thing I saw last week when the far left was losing their mind that I dared, that I would even dare to have an opinion on the art of a cartoon. And for some reason, Everybody's mind went straight to sex, even though I and others who criticized the drawing of She-Ra were never talking about having sex with a cartoon. It seemed like thousands of far left ideologues were in their accusations while also calling me things like an incel. And here Kevin falls into the same trap talking about me going mad about it. I mean, I did two videos on it, but I mean... Come on, I do two to three videos every single day. Uh, it's interesting how, you know, in the title of this video is, his video is something about man babies losing their mind. Uh, I'm not the one shooting in varying degrees of infrared in a couch with some sort of mind control device droning on in the background. I'm here like a normal person in my basement in front of a bunch of comic books critiquing a male feminist video. His video was just wow. He is he's a truly, truly um yeah, creepy person. K Dog. K K Log. Pota my my Mr. Potato Head. Are you ever going to get to a point? Like all you've done thus far is make personal attacks and what's with calling me creepy? I don't even get that. That seems curious. Uh, it, it feels like projection. I don't know. I don't know where this is coming from. Uh, but Kevin, I, I, I don't have anything but the purest of intentions. I'm but a sweet summer soul here to be taught a lesson by you, Mr. Kevin Logan. Basically, their, their complaint is that this cartoon is going to be less easy to masturbate to than the old one, it seems. that. I and there you have it. And I should remind you or ask you, let's just keep this here. Let's not contact Mr. Logan. You know, he knows how the game is played, but he usually is a good sport about it. I don't understand all the blatant lies and slander 
about uh, me in particular in this case and really grouping anyone who had a problem with the redrawing or reboot of She-Ra. Uh, I saw nobody uh, complaining that they couldn't jerk off to the cartoon. It was like everybody's main misrepresentation of the argument. My argument, and you can go back and look at the videos, is simply the defeminization. Is that a word? Um, the removal of gender characteristics. The fact that She-Ra is a woman and the new drawing of She-Ra is a boy. Uh, the broad shoulders, the body shape, everything about that character is that it's a boy. Uh, you can watch both of my videos and at no point do I complain about not being able to pleasure myself to it. Um, now, maybe there are some people out there, but I thought it was such a weird thing. I mean, I got hundreds of people. There is some nobody, uh, female, former uh, comics personality, comic something or other. Somebody asked me about it and they said, hey, did you see what's her name retweeted you? And, and, and said something about you uh, not being able to enjoy She-Ra. And then I'm like, I don't know who this broad is, but it was the same thing. Everybody retweeting me, retweeting me. Oh, he can't, he can't uh, pleasure himself to She-Ra. Why? Why? Hmm. Hmm. Why is it that their mind goes directly to that when it wasn't my complaint at all? It wasn't anybody's complaint. Uh, the complaint was merely that they took something that was clearly feminine, made it look like a man. Uh, this is a byproduct of the lazy Cal Arts style that's so popular today in today's cartoons. But that was about the long and short of my complaint. I wasn't certainly losing my mind. I certainly never mentioned anything about being able to be attracted to a cartoon character that I watched when I was eight years old. Um... It's just what I remember from back then during the He-Man series was that one was a boy and one was a girl. Now you can't tell. That, of course, is the complaint. It is a complaint that is never addressed by these SUWs. They, they gaslight like, oh, no, that's not happening. They're not turning all the what used to be feminine into masculine. No, we're not doing that. You just want to jerk off, you weirdo. Like, where does that even come from? That's, yeah. Apparently, it's the evil feminists who have made this character into a more androgynous, less massively buxom character. Therefore, it's not going to be as easy to wank over or something. Like, do you realise how fucking creepy that is, guys? Do you realise how ridiculous and over-the-top a reaction this whole thing is? Look. Yes, Kevin, I do realise how creepy that is. It is creepy uh, to complain that you can't self-pleasure yourself uh, to children's cartoons. Now, I'm not going to kink shame here. Some of my viewers out there into that seems harmless enough, uh, but this is not an argument anybody is really making. Uh, it's not an argument that I made, and he's specifically targeting my opinion and my videos. It's not an opinion that Diversity in Comets made. It's not an opinion that uh, Ethan Van Skyver made. It's not anybody's opinion uh, that oh the 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 chest isn't huge and overflowing. No, no. It's about that they took a strong female character and turned her into a boyish lesbian, uh, and they turned the character into very similar to how the creator of the reboot looks. Like this character is clearly designed in her own image, uh, a character uh, that she is in real life attracted to. I mean, I'm going to go there, okay? We're talking about a, a, a boyish lesbian creating the show, creating a character that is appealing to her eye, apparently, uh, which is weird. Uh, the same person that created a show called Lumberjanes. Uh, I think... Where this whole sexualization of this cartoon is coming from is this is coming from the far left. It's coming from weirdos. Uh, not everyone on the left is a weirdo. I'm saying it's I mean, it never crossed my mind 
uh, to be attracted to a cartoon. That's just not my thing. What I noticed was repeatedly uh, this being used as some sort of attack on anyone who had anything negative to say. It's almost like they know we know. They know that this is agenda-driven. Um, obviously, I can't prove that, but the rebooting and, and uh, attack on femininity certainly seems to be more than just a few random dots on a line. It seems to be a pattern. And it seems like whenever anyone points it out, they are met with over-the-top resistance and gaslighting. That, my friends, is not how the community would act to a completely absurd idea. That's how they would react to something that they know we're right about. And they're trying desperately to hide it.